two units are the same, these two units, to put the LED panel in. It comes with the uh, two wire nuts. I'm actually not going to use the wire nuts because I'm going to use an alternative method. You can cut them, cut the wires inside, but you don't have to do that either. So the only thing you really need is a screwdriver and these units. These units new do not come with the lamps installed. I'm going to show you how to do the one on the lamp that's not installed. So the way I'm going to do this though is to take this off. You don't have to, but it makes it easier for me demonstration purposes. Remove this screw in the back. In this case, the cover comes off make it easier to show you. Take the screw in the middle out. Set that aside. In this instance, I'm not going to be using the reflector since it doesn't serve any useful purpose anyway. So we'll discard that. Remove the two screws. bracket is kind of tricky. If you take this screw out more than about five or six turns, this whole thing falls apart and it's very difficult to put it back in. So make sure when you loosen it up, mark your screwdriver some way, but only turn it one, two, three, say about four turns and you'll be okay. Take the white lead, the white lead, in this case, I'm going to slip it just underneath and tighten it back up. And don't worry about the noise, it'll go away. Slip it over to the other side. And do the Black lead, and we tighten up the screw on the back lead, do the same thing with the black lead, and tighten that up. Once we tighten it all up, remove or reinstall the bracket. Reinstalling the two screws that we have taken out. There's the first one. And here's the second one. When you're putting the wires in, make sure you don't have any wires hanging out to touch the metal. Now all we have to do is lay this in. The other item I did not just tell you about is using silicone. You can use hot melt, but the silicone is not temperature sensitive. In this case, I'm using some waterproof clear silicone. And We will take the unit and center it, run a bead down the bottom, and run a bead across the top. Once we let it dry, the unit modification is finished. Put the cover back on, and that's it.